Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how you can connect your PHP script to the MySQL database using PHP MyAdmin, right? So we were having this database called student and we were able to connect to this database in the last video. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the data. So we had uh, this student database and we created a user info if you remember and it has some data right and I want to show all this data uh, on the browser or using PHP right so how can I show this in this video I'm going to sh show you so let's get started this is the connect.php which I have created uh, in the last video and I'm going to use this uh, connect.php to connect to the database and then I will create a new file and I will save it as uh, get data dot php and I will save it and in here I will just include my php tags and now first of all I need to connect to the database in this file right so what I'm going to do is in this file I have written the code to connect to the database which is connect.php so I will just require this file so I will use this keyword called require and the name of my connect file which is connect.php right so this is this file which I have written in the last video okay once I have this file then what I'm going to do is I will write a query to get the data from the database so I will declare a variable called query is equal to and inside this I am going to write a query as a string now if you know a little bit of uh, mysql you already know what a query is query is a small little string which you can send to your database to query the data from the database right so for example i have this uh, table called user info and i want the data from the table for example this data which I have saved earlier in the database and I want to query this data from the database base so what can I do is if you don't know about SQL queries uh, I will show you a simple way so just select your table in which you have uh, saved your data uh, and go to the structure here mm, we will go to this SQL tab here okay so this is the tab you need to go once you selected your table right and you will see a query here which is a simple query to get the data from the database this is select star or asterisk from your table name this is a simple query so I'm going to use the same simple query to get the data from the database in this video okay so I will just copy this I will leave this where clause for now I will just use this this query okay so just copy this query select asterisk from your table name table name is user info so this is user info and I will just copy it here okay so this will be my query simple query and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a while loop while because I want to read the data once uh, I um, execute this query right so what I'm going to do is first of all let's execute the query first so I'm going to give if condition and I want to check whether if this query is executed or not right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a variable called um is query 
run for example you can give any variable name is equal to and uh, now I'm going to use a function in my SQL so which fetches the data or which executes the query so just write my SQL underscore query okay this is the function in PHP which you from which you can execute your query and what it does it returns boolean value so if the query is executed it will return true and we will go to the condition or statement inside if condition otherwise if it's um, not executed it will return false and we will be able to catch the else condition right now i'm going to pass my query which is this one to my mysql query function right now once this query is executed i can echo echo for now query executed for example okay else i can just show else i can just say query not executed right so let's see if we are able to execute our query or not and then we will get the data from the database and show it okay i save it and i will go to local host and to my folder and then database and in here this was the file i have made right get data and it says connection successful or connection success which comes from this file connect file which says connection success for now i'm going to comment this out so i don't need to see this uh, connection success and i will save it and i will refresh it and now it says query executed so now i know that my query is successfully executed this query right now once the query is suc uh, successfully executed what i want is i want to get the data okay so that this i can use by using while loop while and why i'm using the while loop i will show you because i want to fetch the data from the database and it will be an associative array okay so what function we can use to get the data let's see so i i will declare a variable called query uh, underscore underscore c cute is equal to this is a variable name right and we will use my sql underscore fetch source a s s o c which means associative array right and in this function mysql fetch a s s o c we will pass our query run okay this one this variable so just copy this and pass it here and once we have our we will execute this function it will return the data in the form of associative array in this variable okay so what we can do is we can just cut this from here and just paste it inside as an argument of our while loop so we have our associative array here right in this variable okay so now what I can do is I can get uh, this or I can call this uh, associative array variable to get the data. So for example, I want to get all the names from this user input table. So I have this uh, user input table in my database and I have the column like ID, name, surname, age, username and password. So I want to show all the names from this database. Right now only two names are there, Mark and John, in my 
browser right so what i can do is i can simply echo and just use this associative array and if you followed my last video you know that we can use the key of the associative array to get the data so key here is the column name so i want to get the value of name column here right this is my table and there is a column called name and i want to get the values okay so the key will be the column name so i will write here name okay and i will just save it and once again i will go to my browser and refresh it and now you can see two names let me do a little bit better i will just concatenate this in break okay i will just give a break tag so that you can see okay and let me give break here also after call query executed okay in here save it once again refresh it and now you can see your names here right which are there from uh, in the database okay so we have name mark and john in the database and we are seeing those names from the database in this web browser let's add a new data in the database so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the structure not to the structure but insert tag here so i will go to the insert tag and i will i will add some more data so for example new name and surname and age and username and password okay and i will click go and data is saved i can browse i can go to this browse tab and i can see there is a new data here right now i can refresh it and you will be able to see the third name here which is added here right so you know that whatever is in the database you are getting it here now let's uh, take a little table so if you know html you know how to uh, make a table right or otherwise if you don't know how to make a table using html just uh, browse internet you, and you will be able to find many good uh, tutorial there okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take echo and i'm going to take table tags to create a table like structure for me right so what i'm going to do i'm going to take uh, for example first of all a uh, tag called tr tr is the table row tag right if you remember and i will end this tr like this and inside this table row i'm going to insert some table data so just give two brackets like this and td and i will just close this td here td right and in a similar way i'm going to just take two more or whatever number of columns you have and in here i can just insert this data okay so what i'm going to do i will copy this and i will just concatenate using concatenation i will just insert it here right so this will give us the name and then in a the same way we can concatenate here the surname for example so just take the surname which is the second column name here called surname right so just write surname 
so for now i'm showing this this two rows you can uh, take all the rows like this using this example and now i will just remove all the other td for now oh. so my table structure looks like this i will just comment this and let's see i can get the names and the surname inside the table or not save it and let's refresh it uh, showing some error let's see what's the error probably some concatenation error mm. oh i forgot the table tag without table tag we cannot use tr and td right i will give table start here and at the end of this row i will give table end okay so i have this tag and i will just save it and now let's try and run the program and we see this here uh, the name and surname right according to this table name is mark and surname is this john and surname julie and surname so you can see here but still you don't see some padding so we require this some padding in the table so just give border for example is equal to one and let's give width here width or style for example style is equal to in the brackets give width colon 300 px okay so let's save it run it and now you can see the table and the name and surname so you can play with the html tags what i wanted to say is you can play with html tags to create a table like this right so in this video you can get any data which is present in your database in your php script and show it like this right now um that's it i think for this video in the next or in the couple of next video i'm going to show you how to use this mysql with php more interactively so stay tuned and please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now